What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another shoe review for you guys. Sitting here we have the Air Jordan 12 Twist. I'm going to give you guys a quick 360 before starting on this video. A quick one. Quick, quick, quick one. Alright, pause. Alright, so guys, as always, I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. It comes along with you guys stop by and watch my video. So if you guys do like this video at the end, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like it up. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to click the bell notification so you guys can be notified every time I post because I am dropping a lot of content for you guys just off this, just off yesterday and today is gonna be four brand new videos of new releases that just came out. You know, we had the Dunks uh, Purple Post, we had the Yellow Strikes, the Dunks, we had the LeBron Space Jams, and now we got these Jordan 12 Twists. So if you haven't checked those out, make sure to go check it out after this video. And yeah, I appreciate that. But aside from that, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you guys can follow me at Chris M I E underscore. If you guys want to see some sneaker content on TikTok, you guys can check me out on TikTok at Sneakers and Chris on TikTok. But one announcement, I just want to say, um, my clothing brand released some new merch. Um, not merch, new some inventory. If you guys want to check that out? If you guys want to support? Want to rock with us? You guys can always check um check out um check out our Instagram at Tapping Through a Five or check out the website www.tappingthroughafive.com. This is one of the trucker hats. That's on the page and we got some more things i'm wearing the shorts right now i'll probably upload a picture of the shorts so you guys can see there's different type of shorts there's shorts for the guys there's shorts for the ladies there's shirts for the guys there's shirts for the ladies there's dresses for the ladies there's a lot of things and just check it out if you guys want to check it out if you guys want to rock with us but aside from that let's get straight into this video man all right so starting with the box as we always do guys if you guys hear something like rain it's because it's raining but we still gonna get this video out of the way so starting with the box as we always do we got our typical jordan 12 box you know that's how it looks usually it's brown and black you have the jump in on the lid you have some orange going around you have this on the side that said jordan and you got on the right here on the, this side that says um quality inspired by the greatest pair ever and i believe the same thing is on the shoe itself you have a jump in right here and then you have the label i'll bring it closer so you guys can see make sure you read everything pay attention to everything just in case you guys are buying these at resale you guys can know um, how to tell if the box is real, how to tell if the box is, um, the shoe is real. You know, I, I always like to show you guys every detail as possible. But as you open it, it's just um, some brown paper wrapping and then the shoe inside. All right, so now that we're done with the box, let's get straight into the shoe. Um, so this shoe released today, Saturday, July 24th. It's one of the Jordan releases kind of at the end of July. We got one more week. Let's see what Jordan brings for us. But this is what we're getting, the Jordan 12. Um, You know, so this came out in men's and GS. I forgot to say GS boxes is different from the man boxes. So if you guys are buying it from somebody, but GS, don't be confused because the boxes are different. So just be aware of that. Make sure um do your research on how the GS box look, but it is different. So, but yeah, prices on this, um, retail was 190, retail is 190. I forgot to read the, um, the label for you guys. Hold on, the label reads Air Jordan 12 Retro white black university red size 9 mu k8 retail 190 and my fault i forgot to read the label when i was saying the box but yeah let's get back into the shoe so let's just get straight into the colors the colors is not something hard to you know it's just white and uh, some little hit of red so the history on this was supposed to be a twist by the name the twist like a a twist version of the cherry red 12s that came out a few years back you know that's the history of it some people don't really care about it because honestly it's not really a big it's not really a big twist because it's just a little compared to the um cherry red it was more red on the cherry red you know with this is just a little um a little red and it's not even the same type of red you know this is a dark obviously a darker red and yeah but you have the majority of the shoe in white um with the same material that you usually get on your jordan 12 you got a little snake type of filling down here all around right here and you have your tumble letter same some same type of material feels the same way nothing changed about the 12 for a long time you know you have your jump man right here in red and you have more red inside but this side doesn't have any jump man and your eye your eyelids you have red and you have a little jump um you have a little jordan sign on the eyelid i'm not sure if you guys could see right here and you have the laces in all white but you do have some black laces Honestly, I'm not really feeling the black laces with these. I, they should have thrown some red laces probably. But I'm pretty sure what, some of you guys are gonna order some red laces rock with these. And that was, that's gonna look nice, no cap. And then you have going down that says 
2-3 as your regular way that you usually have the 2-3 on the Jordan 12 and you have the jumping right here and black and then as you go to the back you have some more red you have the 23 in red you have um right here that says Jordan quality inspired by the greatest player ever the same thing as the box as I was saying and you have um the jump man right here in black with red you know and as you go inside you have your sizing tag behind the tongue and the rest of the shoe inside is black with the jump man and red you know now let's switch it over to the outsole the outsole you have some black you have some black you have the jump man and red right here and some red right here in the 23 you guys can see and yeah that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna give you guys one more 360 so you guys can see it It's not bad, it's not too bad, you know. Let's get straight into the rating. So the rating for me on this shoe, I'll say, I, I'm a fan of Jordan 12. Um, So, it's not my rating not gonna be too bad. I'm giving this a seven, just only a seven because I'm not a crazy fan of um white shoes. But because I'm a fan of Jordan 12, it's gonna, I'm gonna give it a seven, you know. It's a pretty nice color. It's gonna be a color that's gonna get, um, e um it's gonna be easy to get dirty, but just find something to clean it up with and it's gonna be fine. So I feel like people are gonna cop these if they really like Jordan 12. But if they don't really like Jordan 12, they're gonna pass on them. Because I do see these taking time to sell. It obviously is gonna sell out. Every Jordan 12 sell out. But it's probably gonna take time. I'll see um, a good amount. Hold on. I thought something was in my eye. But I'll see a good week. One week, the max probably sell out. We're probably gonna see a lot of restocks on these. Probably on sneakers, like online, some um, probably snipes, like any little online stores, probably gonna do some restocks throughout the month or throughout the summer on these. But I do see these selling out eventually. Now, is it worth buying at resale if you missed at retail? Now, if you really want it and you did miss at retail, I'll say go ahead. Um, the price is not too far off. Retail is 190 with tag, it's like around 203. So if you could get your hands on this pair for like 230 between 230 and 250 that would be great you know it's not too far off if you buy at 230 that's like a 20 25 20 um 27 dollar um on top of retail so that's not too bad so i'll say it's worth buying at retail if you guys really want it if you guys couldn't touch at retail but i would I'll, I'll always i always suggest try your best to get at retail wait till the next day for um full locker champs and foot action to do some type of leftovers or any other store that's in your area and yeah um, um most of the stores a lot of stores had these you had the apps that I just mentioned, Foot Locker, um, Chance Foot Action. You had um, stores like Snipes, um, Shoe Palace. I was able to grab this pair. My pair, I was able to grab it off a of raffle. So, guys, like I always say in every, um, a lot of my videos, try for the in-store raffles. It does work. I pick up a lot of, of these pairs that I do my reviews on from in-store raffles, you know. So, some stores don't really, some stores don't backdoor. And they look out, you know. So, just try your best. But I think that's pretty much it for my video, guys. Don't forget to rate this shoe down below. Is this your favorite Jordan 12 or the what's your Jordan what's your what's your favorite Jordan between the whole lineup you know just let me know I just want to chat it up with you guys down in the comments below so I'll see you guys in the next one again thank you guys for stopping by make sure you check out the other videos and see you guys soon